Good morning, so we're just about to leave the house. I think it's like 12 to go to my paint management appointment. Um, it's been like a month that I've been trying to get in to see him and like bad things like snowstorms and stuff keep happening and I can't like get in to see him. So I'm hoping today will be a good appointment. Um, I just don't know what to expect because the line of medications that um, he wanted me on was and is stuff that can cause seizures, so um, we think have to be cautious. And then my neurologist, yes, or two days ago, said that it, the medications that I should be okay with are opium derived. So that's like codeine and morphine and like like that type of stuff. And I don't know what he's gonna feel comfortable. Like I don't know, I don't know if there's like a one of those medications that like at a low dose isn't that bad. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what to expect. So, um, I'm gonna make the drive out for it now. This is all we've been doing for like half an hour. Just on hold continuously. Oh my gosh, do I have to update you? Or I have to update you? So much. There's so much that's gone on. Okay, so I'm just kind of like making food um, for my family because my mom's picking my dad up at the train station now. Um, so I figured I'd give you guys an update. Um, it's just around 7 p.m. We left my house at 12 um, today. The appointment is like an hour and 15 minutes away. So um, the appointment was at 1.30, so we had to leave early. And then... Um, we got there, we were talking to the doctor for a while, and we were just talking about options, and he just feels that this medication that I was on before I was on the tramadol, um, he feels like it would be the best, um, out of, you know, anything that I, I could take. He said it's, like, the best, um, and safest, and he was saying, too, that this medication is not something, like, you get used to medications you know, at one point in time, you'll, your body's going to adjust and you're going to need to up the dose. And he said with this med medication, it's metabolized in a certain way where, like, it, it the efficiency doesn't change. But I'll explain that stuff later. So then, um, he had originally wrote the prescription last week um, on Wednesday for seven days to hold me over until seeing him today. And it was $60. I spent so much time on Friday trying to get to see if I could get it lowered and then I just figured I'd wait until I saw him to see if he had any other options so I waited um, until today and I saw him and he wants to put me back on the medication which now that like we know that's what he wants then you know we're gonna we'll go for it you know we'll deal with it because um, if it works and it's the safest and I'm not a seizure risk and all of this stuff then and I, I don't have a terrible amount of side effects then um, we that we would feel end up feeling comfortable um, spending a little bit of extra money on it. Um, so um, I had it sent last week to this um, CVS that's by Adrian's house, and then we were going to see if they could send the prescription from that CVS or have the doctor send the prescription to a CVS that's closer to my parents' house. And I call I literally called. 15 different CVS locations to see if anybody had this prescription even like in stock and um, his town was the only one that had it um, so we had to end up stopping there on the way back but then the the new prescription for a month was um, it wasn't in yet they only had the seven um, day one so then we had to wait there for forever to um, to get the doctor's office to get the, the prescription to CVS so they could fill it. Also, um, if you guys are on narcotics, do you get itchy from them? Um, because I feel like for the first like two hours, I always get like super itchy. I don't know. Um, so I'm on a very, very safe medication now, um, but I took it today and I finally got I finally, finally got the relief that, I, that I've been waiting like six weeks for. So I feel like pretty good right now. Um, you know, uh, 
it doesn't eradicate all the pain, but it does it. It does a really you know, a lot better job than a lot of things have. Um, I do need to actually talk to you guys about something. I'm going to kind of be requesting for some prayers, not for me, but for somebody else. And I think I'm going to take my mom or go with my mom to see my grandma. And then I'm going to go back to Adrian's tomorrow. But I'll kind of talk to you guys a little bit more detailed. I'm sorry that this is going to be very medical, this vlog, but um, I do want to just like explain everything to you guys so you guys know what's going on. So. And I'm doing, I think I'm doing another extra video tonight, which I'm excited about. So I will see you guys probably in a few hours. Hey, you guys. So I am actually just getting ready to record just a quick video about um, like doing like the what's in my bag Spoonie edition and traveling for a weekend f uh, with um, IV supplies. So I'm just about to do that. And then... I'm gonna try to take care of some stuff the rest of the night, and um, that's pretty much it. So, just updating you guys, I'm gonna record the video, I think, right now. Hey guys, so I kind of have a little bit of a favor to ask of you. Um, one of my best friends who has, like, I guess he doesn't really have any, like, severe health problems, um, unexpectedly got admitted to the hospital today and um he's un undergoing some testing and they don't know um he has a mess i mean his abdomen they don't know what it is so if you guys could just send positive thoughts and prayers kind of to us i guess um yeah please do so because um this guy is like i've been like best friends with him for like seven years we talk every day he's like so sweet. He's visited, visited me in the hospital before. Like, we went to each other like crazy. Like, he's a really, really good person. And he's like the last person that deserves to go through something like this. Um, so, yeah, if you could just kind of send prayers this way. And to him, that would be like so greatly appreciated. Um, I'm just working on editing the vlog from yesterday right now. And then I'm going to go upstairs. But because it's a little bit late, it's like 12 15. <laughs> so yeah, please just send prayers and positive thoughts his way. Thanks guys. Hey guys, so I didn't close out the vlog last night. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching and I will see you guys for me today. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.